So is it about the science or is it about something else? How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about the CDC lowering the recommended isolation time from 10 days to five days. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically, if you test positive for the bug, they recommend that you stay isolated for five days rather than the previous 10 days. And the question here is, what prompted this? Why did they change it? Is it because of science or is it because of something else? Now, here's a couple of articles. We're not going to read them right now. I just want to flash them on the screen. Now, here's the CEO of Delta asking the CDC to cut quarantine time for breakthrough cases of the bug. This was published on Reuters, and of course, links will be in the description, December 21st, 2021. So that's last Tuesday, because today is December 28th, 2021. Now, here is another article from NPR, and again, it'll be in the box. The CDC cuts the recommended isolation and quarantine periods for virus infections. So that was published yesterday, December 27th, 2001. So... Is it a coincidence that the CEO of Delta says, hey, let's cut the quarantine times and then it's done less than a week later? I think, quote unquote, Dr. Anthony Fauci may hold the key to all of this. So before I go any further, let's roll the clip. In this clip, you're going to see and hear Dr. Anthony Fauci on CNN giving his two cents about why the CDC has cut the quarantine time down from 10 to five days. And after we get done watching that, I'll come back. I'll talk about what he said there. Then I'll give you the rest of my two cents and my deep detail analysis. And then I'll wrap it on up with a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Uh, let's begin with these new CDC guidelines. Uh, why is the CDC now changing these uh, recommended uh, isolation times for people who test positive for the virus uh, but don't have s symptoms? I, gu I guess the simple question is why now? Well, the reason is that with the with the sheer volume of new cases that we are having and that we expect to continue with Omicron, one of the things we want to be careful of is that we don't have so many people out. I mean, obviously, if you have symptoms, you should not be out. But if you are asymptomatic and you are infected, we want to get people back to the jobs, particularly those with essential jobs, to keep our society running smoothly. So I think that was a very prudent and good choice on the part of the CDC, which we spent a considerable amount of time discussing, namely getting people back in half the time than they would have been out so that they can get back to the workplace, back to the workplace, back to the workplace. doing things that are important to keep society running smoothly. All right. So you saw that you heard that. Now, that's very interesting. Very, very interesting because check it out. If the CEO of Delta is saying, hey, let's cut the quarantine time down. Why is he doing that? Why do you think he's doing that? I mean, it's pretty obvious to see. OK, look at what's happening right now in airports all over the country from east to west, midwest, down south, everywhere. You're having, you're having delays. And what are they saying? The reasons for the delays are the bug, uh, short staffing. Of course, because if somebody tests positive for the bug, they are recommended, quote unquote, to quarantine for 10 days. And at a certain point, if everybody has the bug and you got to have 10 days for each person, it gets to be too much. You can't really get things rocking and rolling where you need to. You can't get pilots in the sky. You can't have anybody in the actual airport doing things. No baggage claim, no flight attendants, nothing. So, all right, man, look, check it out. We got to get this money. You're talking about billions on the line. And let's not forget the federales bailed out the airline industry during the virus. Let's not forget about that part. So you want to protect your investment, right? All right, check it out. Let's cut the quarantine time down from 10 to five days because we're trying to get this money. Matter of fact, let's go back to the article. Uh, there may be something in here uh, about that specifically. And again, this will be in the box. So don't take my word for it. Read it for yourself. But you see it right here. And one more time, Delta CEO asks CDC to cut quarantine time for breakthrough virus cases because uh, when it, when it, the reason why they say breakthrough is because 90% of Delta employees allegedly have the, the, um, the vax, right? Okay, here it is right here. Perfect. Let me just zoom in. 
Um, quote, with the rapid spread of the Omicron variant, the 10 day isolation for those who are fully vexed may significantly impact our workforce and operations. This is the CEO of Delta saying this, right? Similar to healthcare, police, fire, and public transport workforces, the Omicron surge may exacerbate shortages and create significant disruptions. It's, it's easy. It's simple, right? It's, it's, it's really simple. Wrote it to the CDC. Less than one week later, the change was made. Now, let's go to the article about the CDC cutting the isolation period. I've already searched through this whole thing. There's nothing in here about work or Delta or nothing like that. Let's see what they say. Let, let's see their whole spin on the whole situation. Matter of fact, there was one particular article, like excerpt, that I really wanted to focus on. It is right here, right here at the very top. So let's let's read it. People who test positive for the bug need to isolate themselves for only five days if they don't show symptoms. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention said Monday this cuts and have the early recommendation of 10 days isolation. Now here's, here's the key data show that the majority of virus transmission quote occurs early in the course of illness, unquote, the CDC explained generally in the one or two days before symptoms begin and two or three days after. Therefore people who test positive just late for five days. And if asymptomatic at that time, they may leave isolation if they can continue to mask for five days to minimize the risk of infecting others. So basically they, they, they rationalized the whole five day thing that they got from Delta because you heard Fauci say, you know what? We got to get back to life. We got to get back to work, all this and that. And the third, he said it right there on TV. And then you saw what the, um, the CEO of Delta said, he said the same thing that Fauci said. So if the Delta CEO is saying it's about work, I just say this is about work. And then you see NPR, they're talking about, oh, well, if you, you know, you may, you have symptoms early. And if you have the past five days, it's not really a big deal. Who are you going to believe? Two out of the three or just the one? You see what I'm saying? I think we all know what's going on here. So I don't want to hear my science or anything like that anymore, because this is not a science decision in my humble opinion. You know, I can't say that for 100 percent certainty because YouTube might try to strike. But you already know what it is. Fauci said it. He said it. You know, one thing I don't like is when people try to gaslight me. You understand what I'm saying? Like when the people who we are told to trust, who we're told to have all our faith in, to push all the chips on the table in. Yeah. Your CDC director, Rochelle Walensky, uh, Anthony Fauci, NIH, when they say things on television, to the American people, and I hear it when Michelle Walensky says the vax does not stop the bug, it does not stop transmission, you can still catch it and spread it. When she says that, and when I show people that, it's like, nah, she didn't say that. It's like, I'm I'm showing it to you right here on my phone. She said it. What are you talking about? Same thing with Fauci. I show you on my phone. Look, he said this. It's about going back to work. Oh, no, nah, he didn't say that. It's about the science. It's like, stop. At a certain point, I'm only going to just, I'm, I'm going to be very observant. I'm always observant, but I'm going to be much more observant and I'm not going to back down off of what I see. I refuse to back down. If you see something that's so obvious, just believe it. Just believe it. Just like I saw an article today that says the flu made a comeback from an absence last year. Where was it at? Was it in Tahiti? Did it go to Bali before the, the, um, the ban on travel? Did it go to, the, the Great Wall of China, like, where was it at for the past year? Do viruses go on vacation? I can't tell because I don't think the flu never left. I think they were counting flu cases as a quote-unquote bug or the virus, whatever you want to call it. I think that's what's going on, and they can't keep the charade up. It's not they're saying, oh, it's the flu back. The, the, this whole thing has been really dumb, really ridiculous, and I wish that we actually went with science as I close Let's actually believe in science, shall we? Not the political science. That's not science in the sense of epidemiology, biology. That's not science. That's philosophy. That's mind games we're playing. And let's not play any more mind games with the American people, shall we? And I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about what's going on here? Why did the recommendation get cut from 10 days to five days? Is it because of money, interest, the CEO of Delta, as the CEO of Delta said, and Anthony Fauci alluded to, 
whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys pretty much know where I'm at. I'm, I'm a big skeptic of this whole situation. I know the bug is real and people are getting infected, et cetera, et cetera. I know that. That's fine. But the way it's been handled, the, all the stuff around it, it's just, let's just stop. Let's just look at things from a real point of view and ditch the politics. That'd be fantastic. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.